All right, let's go ahead and set up a scene so that we can place in GUI controls. That way we can have a player connected to it. And then whether it's an on-screen uh, for a touch device or you just want to have a device where you can use your mouse and click on buttons on screen, we'll set it up so that the player will have movement and then just a standard jump and a use for action. If you place objects in the scene, by default, the default tile set player is set so that uh, he'll switch on to that mode, but if you're doing it for the first time, you want to make sure you go to your play and control. The player control option over on the right hand side, this is going to be use GUI controller. This means that if it's available, they'll use it. And then the player ID for the GUI controller we're saying is zero. All right. Now, what we want to do is make sure that the controls we put inside the scene are going to be set up the same way. So I'm going to go down to my GUI camera and we'll place a camera inside the scene. All right. So now we have our GUI camera here. If we go to the very end of our tile set list here, we'll see that we have a joystick. We have just a background image for the joystick and then a generic button that you can set. And these are going to be preset with four different actions to them. I'm going to go ahead and drop in the joystick right here, and then we'll drop in the, the jump button over to the side. If this was a, a smaller device, you may want to tag them on the corners so that they just go in and out and follow the corners automatically. And actually, since we're just doing this as a demonstration, I'll just move these right next to each other. All right, so at this point, everything's already set because the default is set for the player. But if we were setting it for the first time, we want to make sure that on the joystick and on the jump, both, we want two things we want to do. The joystick, remember, is that when you're setting the GUI type, you're setting it for joystick. When it comes to the uh, input type, it's going to be drag. You can do up and down as well. That way, if you want to have additional animations uh, when the player is clicking on it, it can, do, it can be animating or highlighting. The camera, be sure that your camera, because we're on a GUI camera, we want to make sure we say show in camera and enable the input to happen on the GUI camera. And then when we go down to the side down here, we've got a couple of different options. One is joystick. This is going to say how do you want it to react inside the scene. Do you want to, wherever you click, if it's within the collider distance, you want it to jump over to that spot. Um, how far out. So by saying 2 for the drag distance, basically it means it will drag this distance right around here. You can have it further if you want to pull them out further this way. And then if you want it to fade out after the person presses the button, if you don't, if you don't want it to see it anymore until they push again. Next to that one, this is going to be the new options for it. It's going to be the GUI control uh, type. This is going to be just like with the player, this is saying, yes, we want to use this as a GUI control for the player. And the control ID we're looking for is zero because the player is zero. And then the type that we want to do, we'll just go through these so you can see them. So by default, uh, it's going to be set to none. But we have the move analog. So think of this as the analog stick. Uh, it's going to be the eight directional movement. But you can also do, you can do buttons set up. And you could say, just move up, down, left, right then angles. Then for the player as well, you have the you have some of the basic behavior movements. And if you if you tag these, which we do with the buttons, then whenever you push it, it's just automatically going to know where which player it is and set it for it. So we'll put this one back to our uh, analog movement on this with a control ID of zero, which means it's going to find the player. This one, the type is set to jump with a control ID to zero. So if we were just to push play and play through this scene, now I can actually move with the stick, and then we can jump with the button. And then you can also use your joystick or keyboard as well. So you can use all three of them at the same time. All, each type is going to work seamlessly with the other type while things are happening. All right. And last part is that, again, if you wanted to, for instance, maybe I wanted to drop in the action button. So the action button is going to be for items. 
So if you have an item that you're wanting to use with the player, um, what's going to happen on this one, we'll drop in a weapon here so you can see that. So if I place a weapon inside the scene, I have an action button. The weapon's automatically set up uh, for the pickup as well as the uh, action button. So now I can use the action button to shoot. I can use this one, it controls the items direction plus the player direction. Alright, so there you go. That's going to be setting up your GUI elements. That way you have quick access to player. You can just literally drop these in and start using them.